It's finally time to uh, implement display for our own type. And uh, that'll be fun because we can finally do some, uh, some nice printing with it instead of the, uh, the debug printing all the time. And so let's just uh, let's start out with a, uh, we're going to make a small struct and we'll call it a uh, cat. And cats have a name and they have an eight. Uh, U8 is, uh, that's long enough time for a cat to live. That's up to 200 and something years. And we are going to uh, name this cat. Uh, we're going to call him Mr. Mantle. And I'm calling him that because there's a, there's a cat I sometimes feed here in Seoul. And he looks a lot like uh, Reggie Mantle. So his name is Mr. Mantle. And uh, we'll make this in honor of him. So he is a cat. Uh, his name is uh, Reggie Mantle. Uh, it's a string. So we need to make it a string. And age, I'm not sure, but he's probably about four years old. And then let's say we want to print him. Up to now, we have been using debug. So we've been doing this, derive debug, and then we will say print line um, Reggie Mantle is a, uh, and we'll do that. And uh, let's see, Mr. Mantle. And then we'll print that. And you can see, you know, it's not uh, it's not the prettiest output. Mr. Mantle is a cat named Regimental age four. That's, uh, you know, that's just debug information and it's not super pretty. So it is time for us to implement, where is it? Display. So display is under standard format display. And you can see inside here, we have this uh, example of implementing it and uh, you know we need a uh, there's a required method called FMT and we need to implement that and you can see they have this uh, you know they bring it in to scope uh, so you can just write uh, format display and they have this point struct here and then they're implementing it and uh, you know we have this this right thing this is a this is a um, it's a macro that creates a string and it returns all this. So what we can do is we can just uh, steal this. So we are going to steal that because it's actually, uh, it's not too bad. It's uh, it's pretty readable. I'm just going to put, let's see, use the full, uh, the fully qualified uh, path because why not? So this is what, uh, this is what we stole and we can see it has a reference to self. It has this thing here called F. Uh, it's a formatter. We don't have to think about that. It's got this thing here. We don't have to think about that. This is the part that um, that is actually pretty easy. Uh, you can see it kind of it's a uh, it looks like print line. Uh, we put this thing in here. We have these uh, curly brackets here. We recognize that. So let's uh, let's try to steal it and make uh, and you know, display our cat. So we have right, and let's see, self dot x self dot y. Well, we have self dot name and self dot age. So let's change that. Self dot name, self dot age, and uh, what else do we need? Uh, well, what do we want to say? So every time, um, you know, what we are looking to do is just say, um, we just want to print. So this is our objective. We just want to say uh, print Mr. Mantle and uh, and you know see all the uh, all the information in the format we want. So let's say we want to write this every time a cat who is something years old and uh, and I think we are done actually. So let's try that and there we go. Whoops, we have a bracket over there. But you can see, uh, so we have already uh, we've already succeeded at uh, implementing our first uh, our first trait. So display now every time we um, we want to print a cat, we just do this, and of course we can you know add some uh, any logic we want inside here. We can say uh, I don't know match like match age and uh, <clears throat> let uh, I don't know oldness equals match age, and let's say. Uh, 
actually let's call it uh, cat type and we'll say zero to two we'll say kitten and uh, you know three to uh, ten is a uh, adult cat and uh, anything else we will say uh, old cat old cat and then we can say who so he uh, so uh, and therefore uh, something <clears throat> and then we can print uh, cat type and this should work too so we've got uh, our cat here he's age four and let's see match uh, that's right match self dot age not age <clears throat> uh, do, 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 that's right uh, this is um, this is telling uh, us that uh, we don't want to use the exclusive range pattern so uh, when, when you're doing like a match statement uh, you have to do 0, 1 and then 2 and you use this to include the, the 2 which is uh, what I neglected to put in there And there we go. So we have um, so we have our logic in here, and it says uh, Rachel Mantle is a cat who is four years old, and therefore an adult cat. <laughs> we won't worry about that now. But uh, yeah, you can see you can. Uh, so the easiest way to uh, to implement um, you know a trait is to uh, kind of look at the examples and steal what you can and try to make it work. Um, and then later on you can learn more and more about you know what this means and what this means but uh, the first thing the best thing to do is uh, steal code and uh, rewrite it for yourself and then you can uh, you can have nice things like uh, just printing with uh, with brackets and you can get uh, any kind of display that you want